All right, so my name is Greg Luch, and I created a project called Shaved Beaver. Um, it's basically, basically a simple Firefox add-in that would just cover up any mention of Justin Bieber online. It would find <laughs> images of him, it would cover it up. If it found text of him, it would cover it up. Um, you know, as you can see in the examples, like, I mean, that's all it did. It was just a very simple thing, and it's an easy way for you to just say, hey, this is Justin Bieber, I don't need to click on the link. I mean, how simple is that? Um, so before I get into too much, I want to actually give credit to uh, Chris Menning. Uh, he's the one that actually approached me with the idea of saying, hey, I want to create this. Uh, can you help me with do this? Like, I'm a blogger. I'm researching. I see his name all the time. I would basically don't want to click on his links anymore. Um, so uh, over the weekend, I created this project. It took maybe about six hours to do. Um, most of the time I spent doing Facebook and Twitter and Tumblr and all that stuff as well. <laughs> Oops. Um, and in the end, I mean, it was just a simple, goofy thing. And I thought, OK, you know, the next step is to actually go and post it on the Fat Lab blog. Uh, so I went and created a simple video. Whoops, actually, I got a little ahead of myself. That is an example of like, what it does. Uh, that's the iTunes example. You know, it covers up all mentions of his albums, anything else. <laughs> so simple, so easy to do. Um, and so yeah, then I posted onto the Fat Lab blog, uh, created a really goofy video. Uh, it was about a minute long with a parody of a song that basically Question his puberty, question his voice, you know, is he actually really who he is? Um, and that was that. And I wasn't expecting much. I figured, okay, maybe a couple hundred views on the fat blog. Like, that's kind of average. Um, but instead, it actually got a lot of traction. It got 23,000 views on Vimeo, uh, good number of hits on the blog, and actually a lot of press mentions after the first week. And I'm thinking, oh man, this is great. This project's been a success. Okay, time to do the next thing. And uh, for the most part, I really thought that was it. But as you'll see in the next slide, it was not. Uh, as all the press mentions started coming in, I started getting a lot of fan mail. And some of it was uh, a little more racy. Uh, some were uh, basically considering, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself again. Um, at that point, too, Justin Bieber also ran in, into a glass door. <laughs> um, and so with that, I figured, OK, my project, all the media press that I got, it was OK, it was done. But instead, no, I get fan mail calling me Hitler because I'm trying to cover up his name, I'm eradicating him from the internet, and that's basically like Hitler and the Jews. I guess that's a compliment. Um, so of course, I mean, this is so funny, I was like, all right, I have to do something about this. So I took a screenshot of it, posted it on Tumblr, shared it with a couple of my friends, said, hey, this is really awesome, this is really funny, I hope you guys get a laugh out of it. And the laws ensued. Um, and then from the next, you know, as more fan mail came in, I started posting it, people were adding me on Twitter, I mean, they're saying, what the fuck? You know, why the hell are you doing this? You have no life. Uh, and I guess for that, yeah, I am an asshole. Um, yeah. You know, this is another good one. I mean, I want to know where my desert's at. Where are they? But even with all these Twitter mentions, I actually was getting a lot of good, you know, um, Good responses. <laughs> so yeah. I'm very weary of 12-year-olds right now. I hope there's none in the audience. Um, but you know, as that started happening, I started actually getting contacted by the press. Uh, people wanted me to do live interviews and give uh, newspaper uh, statements. And you know, this is new to me. I've never done this before. So in the past like three weeks, this has been a huge experience for me. Did the slide just go backwards? <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, I mean, that's been you know, the best part about it. Um, I've been having fun with it. Um, and I've been getting a lot of good fan mail as well. You know, people are saying, oh my god, you're so great. Like, I'll donate a kidney to you. Or let's nominate you for the Nobel Peace Prize. Or you know, there's even uh, mentions of parents actually saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. I've installed this on my daughter's computer. <laughs> so hysterical, so funny. <laughs> And so in the end, I mean, like this project that I went from thinking, okay, a couple hundred views has turned into amazing stats, amazing views, press mentions all over the place, and I'm still getting contacted for interviews and everything else. And even these stats over the past few days have just skyrocketed since. Um, so if you want to get it, you can actually go to the websites listed there. Um, you can get the Firefox add-on. Somebody's also ported it over to Chrome. And if you want to also see the press or the, the, the fan mail, you can also check it out on the Shape Beaver Tumblr. And uh, yeah. Uh, my name is Greg Luch. Uh, you can follow me at Twitter at G Luch. And you also check out the Fat Lab blog at Fat. And that's F F F F F A T. And that's Dave Viewer.